Hi, this is Chris with Stupid Raises, and in this video, we're gonna show you how to import titles into Final Cut Pro 10 to infinity and beyond the default title. I'm gonna share with you where you can find a free title plugin to import into your project today. I'm also gonna show you how to create favorites folders for your titles and effects, and then I'll explain how we can create a text template to use in future projects to improve our workflow. Let's check it out. So to show you how to import titles, first we need to find a title. We can either find one for free or one for purchase. I'm gonna have a link for one that you can try from Stupid Raisins. We're gonna take a look at that right now. All right, so that link takes us here. Uh, they have a free social media thirds content pack here. All right, so first on the website, you wanna type in your name and click download social media thirds free. All right, just one last step and you're good to go. Go to your inbox, click the confirmation link. So I'm gonna let you go through the rest of those processes. I'm just gonna show you what happens once you have that download link. So your second email is gonna take you to the website. You download that file. It'll be a zip file, just like this one here. And boom, now there's the installer. Double click on that. Open, 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 agree. Install, installation complete. Quit that, close out these. Now you will have to close and then reopen Final Cut Pro. We're gonna look for our social media lower thirds. So we're gonna go to our titles, scroll down, stupid raisins, social media lower thirds. Check these out. They got a couple different ones. Right on. All right, so I'm gonna work with this custom one here. Let's drag and drop this right on top of the, the jungle we've got. All right, so first thing I see is there's a drop zone here. Let's select a source clip. I'm gonna find a PNG file. Looks like I got one right here. I'm gonna apply that. And we're gonna scale this up some. Now we'll notice a few things about this. One is these colors just aren't working for me. Let's find those blues and let's grab this orange. Nice. And let's find this other blue. Again, using this dropper, we're gonna find the same orange. Very nice. And that background. Let's try something else out of the same image, maybe the brown. Let's keep the rest of that the same. But I do wanna change the name Of course, his handle would be Raider of the Lost Ark. <laughs> so what would have been nearly impossible to create by yourself with the existing Final Cut program, you download a free plugin, import it into Final Cut Pro, and you can create something really fun. Oh yeah, that looks very nice. So now what I wanna show you is how to create title templates. So you may just be looking for a way to make things a lot easier for yourself. Let's go ahead and find, let's create a custom template here. We'll drop this on and we'll dive in here to the font of this. We're gonna go ahead and call this jungle. Let's raise the size up a bit. Use this inspector window, then drag this around with the transform tool. All right, now we can dive into some fonts. Let's find something that looks, ooh. Hey, we did not have to look far. Very nice. That's a really great font. Now what I wanna do though, is I wanna take it a step farther and get a nice color for this. So we're gonna go down to the face, show, color, and again, one of these color dropper tools. Now I see there's a couple yellow leaves. Let's try this one here. That looks really nice. Let's brighten it a bit. And then what we can do is add a little drop shadow to help it to stick out from the, the leaves. And that looks pretty good. So what we can do with this now, now that we've created something that we like, maybe we wanna use it again some other time. Let's create that template. We're gonna go up here and we're gonna save uh, all format and appearance settings. So we're gonna come in here and call it jungle, save that. And there it is. 
So the next time we need to use it, we'll go to a completely different type of title. We'll do a blur title. Bring that in here. And with just a couple clicks, boom, we've got that working for us. Car wash, because why not? So that's how you can quickly create a template that you can use across multiple projects. And in that way, you're importing it from one project into another. If you're finding this helpful so far, just know we release new content all the time to help with your Final Cut Pro projects. Don't be basic. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to get notified when we release our next video. All right, so now we're gonna build a template using compound clips. So we're gonna drag this PNG into here and right click, make a new compound clip. We're gonna double click on that. All right, then we're gonna drop a background clip behind it. Very nice. And then let's move this around. We're gonna position this off to the side. Let's resize it, bring it over here. And then we're gonna drop in a title. Let's bring that from here. We'll just bring a blur into this, resize that. And now we can, using one of those presets we made before, put that there, Jungle Man, because why not? Now, this was working before with our image, but now we have a new graphic. Let's go ahead and change this and, and customize it a little more with what we've got going on. So let's get this dropper tool and let's grab that orange right there. Nice. Now that works a lot better. All right, and now you have this new compound clip that's gonna appear in your library right here. So you can drag and drop this to other projects within your same library. But now let's say, uh, you know what? I don't really particularly like that backdrop. So you can come in here and all you gotta do is find something new. Let's say Indy visits the big city. Looks like the size is a little different. We can fill that out and boom, Jungle Man. So one more thing about that browser window, you can actually click in here and hit Command D to duplicate and you can actually create another compound clip. You can name this something like Indy in the city. And now that has created two separate files. So you can actually come back to this one, revert back to that jungle and you've got two separate clips with two separate uh, images going on here. All right, and having copies of these, uh, of each of these compound clips is helpful because if you kept the same compound clip and kept moving it to different uh, projects and customizing it, every customization is going to stay with that compound clip. Having two allows you to create two completely different compound clips, rename them, and use them how you like. How about that? Now that you've learned how to import titles in Final Cut Pro, I've made another video about how to add text to video in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.